Good morning. Welcome back to the laboratory demonstration session in the course Engineering Metrology. So, the next instrument I have picked here is gear vernier. This gear vernier is very similar to the vernier caliper. So, the difference is that it is having two scales. One is the vertical scale, another is the horizontal scale. Okay. So, we have the main scale and vernier scale, both the scales here, and we have two jaws here. So, we can see that there are two jaws and the uh, jaw that is connected to the vertical plane, vertical uh, scale is having a plate attached to it. This is plate attached to it. The purpose of this plate is that when we try to measure the uh, dimensions of it, the gear, this will lock towards the outer diameter of the gear. Okay, we will just show you right now. And uh, uh, there is another uh, horizontal scale. When I close the horizontal scale, you can see that there is a slot here in the horizontal scale. And this plate can move inside this slot. Okay, this plate can move inside this slot. So, this is horizontal scale, this is vertical scale. So, the vertical jaw, I can say the horizontal jaw, however, this is caliper only. So, you can see that this distance or the distance of the plate from the tip of this jaw, this is about 1 mm. This distance, this distance is about 1 mm. Okay? There is a small distance here. This 1 mm is already calibrated in the instrument. If I close it, if I close it here, you can see that 0 here is coinciding with not 0, but first reading that is 1 mm. This 0 is coinciding with the first reading, not the 0. Okay? So, this is the adjustment that is made to adjust this length. So, this is coinciding with the first reading here. However, if I remove my horizontal scale, it can extend further. So, if I touch it with a surface plate, if I touch it here completely, then lock my screws. Now, we can see that this is exactly flat and here the 0 is coinciding with the 0. Okay? But our purpose is to measure the feature of a gear, okay? exactly gear tooth. So, when I insert it, so this 1 mm adjustment is here. Now, to find the least count, you can see that there are 25 divisions on the vernier scale. And also, it is interesting to note that on the main scale between 0 and 1, there are three, there are actually four divisions. In general, we have five divisions between 0 and 1, but here we have four divisions 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, you can see that the last reading is coinciding with 6. Point 0.1. Actually, this point 0.1 is the adjustment here. So, it is actually coinciding, it has to actually coincide with the sixth reading. So, sixth into 4, 24, and these are 25. So, I can calculate the least count, the least count of vernier caliper. We can see that uh, 25 vernier scale divisions is equal to 24 main scale divisions which means 1 vernier scale division is equal to 24 by 25 main scale divisions. Therefore, least count which is equal to 1 main scale division minus 1 vernier scale division 
which is equal to 1 main scale division minus 24 by 25 main scale divisions which is equal to 1 minus 24 by 25 main scale divisions which is equal to 1 by 25 main scale divisions main scale divisions which is equal to 0 0.04 mm this is our least count. So, we can see that on both the scales on the vertical and the horizontal scales on both the sides we have similar types of vernier scales similar types of divisions. The only difference in the vertical scale was that, that the first division was not coinciding. So, it was an adjustment to make this plate enter into the horizontal scale. So, we have got the least count. Now, I have got a gear here. This is a gear which is having outer dia that we have uh, this is actually gear that is manufactured in our manufacturing science lab in the IIT Kanpur only. Uh, it is uh, it is actually manufactured on a milling machine using the indexing attachment. The number of teeth is equal to 36, outer dia is equal to 57 mm. So, as we know the gear terminology, if this is a gear tooth, okay, this is our inner dia, uh, if this is a center, okay, let me consider this as a center, this is inner dia and this complete or from here to here this is outer dia and in between here we have pitch circle diameter. So, pitch circle diameter is a diameter of the rollers which would rotate in a similar way as the gear rotates. So, it is actually a dia where the uh, the mean dia of the contact between the two meshing gears. So, we need to check the depth or the thickness here this value this value thickness t at the pitch circle diameter. So, for that purpose we can use this gear vernier. So, first uh, I need to see what is the value of addendum. Okay, let me see first what is the value of addendum. This length is actually addendum. Okay, this is taught before. This is the addendum. So the value of the addendum would be outer dia minus pitch circle diameter. So, the pitch circle diameter of this gear is 52.52 mm. So, that means uh, if we need to calculate the addendum, addendum is the difference of outer dia to pitch circle dia and it is half of it actually because this is uh, the diameter and addendum this if we see if I put a center here this is the radius. Okay addendum will be the point from center to radius this distance would be the radius distance. So, if I put addendum as A addendum is equal to 57 or I better I will put the formula first it is outer dia minus pitch circle dia divided by 2 which is equal to 57 minus 52.52 by 2 ok this comes down to 8 4 4.48 by 2 which is equal to 2.24 now we know the value of addendum and now we can fix the vertical scale to this location. So, at the depth of 2.24 from the outer dia, I will try to see the thickness of the gear tooth. So, first what I will do, 
I will try to fix this height. Actually, you know, this can be inserted here. This can be inserted here. Okay. So, we need to see the uh, thickness at the epicycle diameter, which is the major diameter, and whatever VAT happens to the gear is generally the epicycle diameter has uh, um, bears the maximum wear. Okay. So, um, first I will fix my vertical scale to 2.24. So, 1 mm is already there. Okay. So, I will try to take it a little forward than the second reading and for 2.24 now, this is 2.24, this is 2 plus 0 0.24, this is equal to 2 plus 0 0.24 by the least count 0 0.04, this is equal to 2 plus, okay, actually this is main scale reading, this is main scale division I would say, this is vernier scale division. So, second division of the main scale and 6th division, I will put 2nd, 6th division of the vernier scale. So, 6th division after the 2nd division of the main scale has to coincide. So, I will take it a little forward from the 2nd division. After that, 6th division, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th division has to coincide. So, it has to be a little fine adjustment. I will take it closer to the 6th division, lock this fine adjustment screw clamp. So, using fine adjustment screw, I will try to match this 6th reading. Yeah. Okay, lock it. So almost perfect. So now this height is 2.24, which is the length of addendum. And when now when I insert my gear vernier to my gear, it will reach the pitch circle diameter. Okay. Now I would like to see the thickness here. First is the sample selection. I like to select a few teeth 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let me say select 5 or 6 teeth which are at a equal equidistant apart. Okay, I have marked them with chalk here. This 6 teeth I will select. This is the selection of the teeth also along the uh, axial direction. This was along the radial direction. Along the axial direction, I will uh, take more than one reading, one, two, three, maybe three readings per gear. So, let me try to take this reading on this first tooth here. So, I will take it forward, it is almost locked. Lock the clamping screw with fine adjustment, apply appropriate force, not very large force, not very large force and not very loose, apply appropriate force so that it touches properly. Okay, it has touched properly. Now, I lock this thing and note the reading. So, we can see that after I have locked lock the both uh, the screws here. So, we can see that it has exceeded the fourth reading of the main scale. This one reading of the main scale is actually 1 mm. Okay. Uh, after exceeding the fourth reading, it what reading of the vernier scale is coinciding with the main scale, I need to see. So, the 16th reading 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16th reading, sorry it is exceeding third reading here on the main scale. After third reading, the 16th reading because there were only four divisions, okay. there are only four divisions, it is exceeding the third reading here. So, after third, 16th reading is coinciding here, is coinciding here. So, the value of the thickness of the tooth is 
tooth thickness okay i'll pick teeth 1 tooth 1 tooth 2 tooth 3 tooth 4 and tooth 5 reading number 1 2 and 3 okay so the first reading for the first tooth is uh, i'll do the calculations here it is actually 3 in the main scale reading plus 16 into 0 0.04 this is equal to 3 plus 64 the 0.64 is equal to 3.64 so this reading is 3.64 similarly i can pick the same tooth and take the reading at the center let me loosen these clamps okay loosened it again the same principle i will touch it with the fixed scale first and tighten the fine adjustment screw clamp using fine adjustment screw apply the moderate pressure here okay actually it has to be kept properly like this not in hand uh, the best way to do it is to lock it in a press wise or in a machine wise we'll, when we lock it in a machine wise it wouldn't move so we'll do it like this i lock it uh, locking it checking the reading again you can see that it is again exceeding the third reading but this reading the sensitivity the for the uh, to, towards the second place of decimal or the towards the might vary so let me see avoiding parallax error the reading that is coinciding is wow it is 15th reading 15th reading is coinciding of the vernier scale with the main scale so let me note down this value for the 15th reading this value would come to equal to 3.60 okay and 5 okay i have put the numbers here 1 2 3 4 and 5 so as i do not uh, mix the teeth in the further observations so i am just checking the first teeth i have checked it at one point okay at this end at the center that i will check, try to check it at the third point for the third point again i will loosen the screws open my caliper and touch the this is kind of a fixed jaw now touch the fixed jaw take it this further okay take this further then lock this then apply appropriate force then lock this screw okay now the screws are locked now let us check the reading again so it has again exceeded the third point third division on the main scale now let me see which is the coinciding point here wow again the 15th reading is coinciding we need to see both the scales here the 15th reading of the vernier scale is coinciding with the reading of the main scale okay the 15th reading is coinciding okay this is actually a close observation uh, you can um, wear some uh, spectacles if you like uh, because there are if you can also use some lens magnifying lens to see this so 15th reading is coinciding so it is interesting to note that the readings are quite close here so for the 15th reading again this value is 3.60 so this average 3.64 per 3.64 3.60 this average comes down to about 3.61 okay this is average you can call it group average now i'll just take a small break and uh, make other calculations do other readings uh, and uh, just note down here then we will see that how is the gear behaving 
so I have saved some of your time and taking the readings from five teeth here and three observations each tooth is taken. So you can see that okay in the second tooth 3.62, 3.60, 3.62, in the third tooth 3.58, 3.64, 3.60. So we can see the observations okay the fifth tooth is a little outlier okay we can see if I calculate the average here its average would be close to 3.57 for the fifth tooth okay for the second tooth it would be close to 3.62 only this is actually 3.56 close to that and uh, um, for the third one it will be close to 3. Point, close to 3.60 this will be close to 3.60 again so based on this uh, I am not cal calculating the exact overall average I can just say that the overall average overall average or the mean is equal to is close to 3.60 okay so based on this the first thing is that 3.60 is my thickness of the tooth at the physical diameter okay so uh, uh, this is the overall mean now what is the variation we I can see that the fifth tooth is a little deteriorated so there is more wear and tear in the fifth tooth sometimes there is that uh, there is some uh, the time voice like tick 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 voice comes and there is a knuckling also certain reasons for that might happen but we can see that okay this is the weak point okay teeth, no, teeth number tooth number five is the weak point and if it further decreases it can exceed the limit exceed the acceptable limit this value so this is a use of any calper also I think I can use the same data I have generated a very uh, beautiful data here so I can use the same data in statistical uh, calculations as well so I can use the average overall average I have five groups and we have uh, uh, this group size as well this group size is three three readings per group I can use the same readings which we have generated we have generated the primary data here and I'll take this to the statistical analysis to find the group means to find uh, mean median more range all those things will tell you there so this is the application of the gear one year we can actually gear one year is uh, not essentially used while we manufacture the gears it is used while inspection when the machines are running and during inspection we can see that which which gear is, if some of the gears is showing some play or some voice is coming so we can just check that is the uh, tooth deteriorate is the wear and tear uh, enough to replace that or not for that gear vernier can be apply applied so the precautions the guidelines could be similar as we had be before for the vernier caliper and for the other instruments cleaning of the instruments then placing the instruments properly then uh, pressure then proper calibration zero error all those things had to be test tested but this was about the gear vernier so I'll take a break here again and uh, we'll meet in the next part of the demonstration while we'll pick another instrument to discuss thank you